Hey, it's Mark LaCour. Let's learn some more about the oil and gas industry. You know, one of the things that is really vital if you want to be successful selling to the oil and gas market is networking. Now, networking means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but basically it's a way for you to get connected to your clients in a not so traditional business setting. Um, a lot of people do this very well, but a lot of people also do this very badly. Uh, it's easy to waste a lot of money and time uh, just not applying your networking tactics correctly. Um, bottom line is what you should do is figure out which organizations and groups your potential clients are members of. You need to join those groups and organizations and then become active. We're going to throw up a list of, of groups that we think are worthwhile you looking into, but just remember this. Nobody likes to be sold to in that type of environment. What you want to do is actually cause some influence and, and grow some brand recognition. You want people to know who you are and what your company does, but you want them to understand that from you contributing to that group. That really is the key. So when you talk about networking within the oil and gas industry, one of the first groups that pops in my mind is the API, the American Petroleum Institute. It's one of the largest political lobby groups in the U.S., and it represents the interest of the oil and gas industry to our political folks in Washington. Um, I've been a member for about 15 years. Um, it is a great place to meet business leaders and executives within the oil and gas industry and to also understand what is going on. Um, it's a, a hodgepodge of different um, segments of the market. So whether you're looking at upstream, midstream, downstream, or service, you will run into somebody there that represents one of those companies. Uh, this particular meeting was uh, the January 3rd meeting. and We actually had John Hoffmeister speak, who's a well-known subject matter expert and author, who actually takes a very nonpartisan view of the oil and gas industry. and What does it take to actually fix some of the problems? Um, so this is the place you need to stop, start at first. Um, and if I can help you, reach out to me. I'd be happy to show you around, uh, introduce you to people. Um, oh, look, there's yours truly. We're sitting in the what's called the tasting room. Uh, this is the actual um, um, board of directors meeting. And no, I was not allowed to have any of that wine, although I really wanted to. So good luck in your networking efforts. And remember, it's very, very, very important. And it's something a lot of people overlook.